Hey everyone, long time no code. It's been a while. I'm back and today we're doing a video on pinching and zooming and panning around the images. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to give a shout out to my friend uh, Bit, which made a channel that you can see here, Bits Dojo, and he made a very, very cool video with Flutter Desktop on how to uh, customize, how to make a custom Windows title bar. I suggest you check it out, give him some love and uh, like his video if you liked it, subscribe to his channel if you want to see more videos like that. Uh, he, this video is, I, I like it very much, it's very well made and you can see the large amount of effort and sweat he put into it. I really, uh, I really want you to go to the channel. It's in the description, by the way. If you haven't uh, YouTube searched uh, Bits Dojo right now, the channel is in the description. There's a link in it. Now, going back to our project. So I said that we are going to do um, pinch to zoom. Uh, picture app in Flutter. So before we do that, what I'm going to do is, you know what, I'm gonna take Bit Dojo's logo and see if I can open it in a new tab. Perfect, we are going to use that in a bit. So I'm going to do that exact thing in a bit. Now in order to get the pinch to zoom functionality, there is actually a class built into Flutter that we can use. And that class, we don't need to import anything. There are packages out there, but we can just use the Flutter SDK for this. So there's a um, class named interactive viewer. So what I'm going to do is find uh, where this column begins and ends and just remove it. I'm gonna put a container here. When I save, you'll see the text has disappeared from my app right here. Now, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to try to, let's see, remove all comments so I clean stuff up. And I think, yep, I just formatted the code and everything is much cleaner now. Okay, let's go into the actual coding. So instead of the container here, I'm going to use a interactive viewer class, which will take some properties. Now, it does take a child, and that child is going to be an image. And that image is going to be of type network. And that link, we are going to get the bits dojo um, picture here, logo, and get this URL, we can close this, and then we are going to paste it here, and when I save, we're going to have the Bits Dojo uh, logo right here in our app. Now, I can already zoom in and out, would you look at that, it's done, that's it, this class does everything, but I want to go just a little bit further into it and show you a few other properties that you have for this interactive viewer. So you also have a min scale, which takes a decimal value. So if I put 0 0.2, that means the minimum amount you can go uh, and scale is 20%. So you can zoom in like 20%. This right now, this I think I need to restart the app, but we can only zoom, we can only pinch to zoom at 20% back. But what's more interesting is the max scale, which let's put to 10.2 percent so right now I can zoom in a lot this is 100 percent and oh yeah I can uh, pan things around too 
Isn't that cool? So basically, yeah, this is it. We can zoom in and out as much as we want. Let's put 100%. I wonder what that's gonna look like. I'm gonna restart, yeah, because I wonder, uh, I want to zoom in from scratch. So where's that restart button? Yeah, here it is. Okay, now we see the logo small. And now we can go, oh, I stopped, oh, oh, look at that. Now that's what I call zoom. You get to zoom a lot in this thing. And here's the fun part. This thing, where, where's the image you are, a network. Let's duplicate this, comment it out. And instead of an image here, I'm just gonna put a container of color, colors dot well not black let's I want it blue okay so now we have a blue uh, container but this is going to have a width of a hundred and a height of a hundred so whoa wait there it, I, I there's an error here I was supposed to put a comma okay so right now if I restart the app we're gonna see a box of 100 by 100 but because we have this box in an interactive viewer guess what we can zoom it which with pinch to zoom and also we can uh, pan around which is amazing right you get to play with this kinds of stuff but of course we normally would want to zoom and pan around in images right so this is what we are looking forward to doing and zooming all the way around want to put a thousand and zoom in now nah, i'm gonna let you put a thousand i'm going to stick at 10 i'm gonna stick to 10 because that's a reasonable zoom this is the 10 times bigger and yes that is how you pinch to zoom and pan around images in flutter isn't that cool you know what let's go to the flutter website and search for image a big image hmm. okay this screen is good i'm gonna open this in my flutter i'm gonna copy the url and put it inside of the, in replacing the bit dojo uh, logo sorry bit i'm gonna i'm gonna replace the logo so now we have a very nice um you see big picture here which we can zoom and we can pan around in isn't that cool and this is all done with the flutter sdk one class interactive viewer and then you set the min and max scale and that's it you're good to go wasn't that easy you don't need to import a package even though you can there are packages that help you do uh, this which might or might not bring uh, extra functionality or smoothness or things like that so you can pan pictures you can pan images you can actually pan anything you put inside of the interactive viewer so again thank you for watching this video i'm gonna give another shout out to bit dojo uh, check out his video link in the description below it's a great video he really put a lot of sweat and um, effort into it uh, he deserves you you to check out the video and yeah that's it thank you for watching i'm chip don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't already as always, I'll see you next time.